Hi everyone, I hope it is a relaxing week before Thanksgiving for you. I'm starting in on this little cozy scene right here. I have a cranberry candle out with two porcelain uh, turkey figurines I put out every year and this is on a coffee table in my fireplace room. Um, it's, it's all I can do to keep me calm right now. Here are the, uh, the rest of the autumn decorations that we put out each year. Okay. But now let's turn to the topic, which is uh, a turkey shortage that we're experiencing here. And it's kind of a little bit my husband's and my fault because we didn't secure the bird early. We usually do that every year and just we just didn't get to it this year. So now I call around to my local stores and none of them have any turkeys available. And they're saying, oh, so... Um, Kroger said that they're not sure they're going to get turkeys next week and then Walmart said something similar they said they can't promise so this probably is not a nationwide problem because I think I'd be hearing about it a lot more but I just can't find them the only place that I was able to locate one by calling around is Whole Foods which is kind of like almost a 40 minute drive away and the turkeys start at $1.99 a pound. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on this article right here and um, read that to you. I'll, I'll read a little bit of it to you to tell you what's behind this. But So the turkeys at Whole Foods are $1.99 a pound to $2.99 a pound. And so the ones that are $1.99 a pound are non-organic. The ones that are $2.99 a pound are organic. And right now they have both, but the longer I wait to get there, probably... Um, only the more expensive ones are going to be available. And I, I, I got to be honest, guys, I don't want to pay $1.99 a pound for turkey, even though it's, <laughs> it's a healthier one. I really should. But um, everything is costing more with the side dishes and everything this year. So it's just kind of one of those things where I just don't know really what to do. I'm kind of looking for an alternative to the turkey, but I am having four guests this year, and I just don't know if they're going to be okay with not having the turkey like if you're going to go over somebody's house for thanksgiving you would think you would want the turkey right so but i'm thinking for an alternative if i have to i'll do just like a nice large pork loin i'm not sure if roast beef would be appropriate i just really have to look into some alternative menus so i'm interested to know is there a turkey shortage where you are right now and do you have other plans do you have to come up with other plans? So anyway, this article, this article is, um, it is a little, almost a month old, but it kind of explains some of the stuff that's going on. There are, there were other articles, but that one had a nice <laughs> colorful photo to it, so I clicked on it. So they're uh, talking about a highly pathogenic avian, uh, avian flu strain that is going through turkeys and it's worse than usual. It said um, over three and a half percent of America's turkeys have died of it this year. And they say, oh, it doesn't sound like too high of a number, but it's over seven million birds. Those, those poor critters, I swear. I mean, I know they end up on our tables, but I, I still, I feel for them whether we eat them or they die of something else, really. So uh, anyway, that's so depressing, guys, right? Okay, so they said that in addition to the avian flu, it was harder to find labor, affordable labor, for the turkey farms. And the cost of fuel is driving it up as well, and the cost of the turkey feed. So that's kind of combining all together for a number of gaps in the turkey supply chain. So um, I don't know. I just, I'm kind of upset at myself that I didn't get a turkey earlier. I just was not on top of it. I did not secure the bird. But anyway, what do you think? Is the pork loin an okay idea or should I go for roast beef? Or I don't think lamb would really be good because even though that's a food kind of like an ethnic food in my background, lamb is actually very expensive. I mean, you'll easily pay like $80 for like enough lamb for eight people because actually it'll feed more 
but you can only get them so small and I'm, I'm not going to put ground lamb on the table. It's the only kind of more affordable way to do it, but I'm not doing that. So what do you think? Should I go to Whole Foods for the turkey or should I just do um, pork loin or something like that? The side dishes are going to be great, right? I know they still have all those ingredients in stock. And there's one uh, vegan coming over for Thanksgiving. And I'm not going to ask everyone else to eat <laughs> the vegan um, the vegan option. So I'm making a uh, like a vegan roast from scratch for them. And it's actually in the freezer right now. I pre-made that. See, I managed to do that early, but but nothing else but um so anyway I have some like quick thinking that I have to do here and I mean what would you do if you were in my shoes would you call your guests and say hey I might not be able to get a turkey so are you okay with pork loin or pork roast or would you not say anything to them because they might want to go to somebody else's house <laughs> but my husband my husband would probably say hey if they want to go to somebody else's house you know let him go <laughs> he he's very he, he doesn't worry about anything like that so um so anyway would you um would you say something to your guests and uh, you know or would would you dish out the extra money for a more expensive turkey so the turkey i was um, i was planning to only pay maybe about like 59 cents a pound for the turkey with a deal at the store but so I'm actually, if I go to Whole Foods, I'm going to be paying more than three times the cost for the turkey. So anyway, I'd be curious to know what you would do and what your plan B would be because that's probably what I'll have to do. So anyway, guys, um, I hope that your plans are a little um, smoother than mine. Go ahead and tell me. You can also tell me in the comments what you think... Um, you will be doing for Thanksgiving your um, your main dish and your side dishes. I do know that people from other ethnicities um, that kind of ha carry their ethnicity over to their life in the USA will have other um, dishes available, like side dishes. They'll blend that in with the Thanksgiving. So, for example, my friend from Jamaica that I've known since college, she puts in. Uh, dishes in there as well. I think they do some kind of, like something with oxtail on the side for for Thanksgiving and I'm trying to think of some another one of my friends does something she's from uh, a a country from a country in Africa originally and they do something with jollof I think it's called jollof rice. That's one of the dishes they put out for Thanksgiving as well but they do like they also do the turkey and stuff like that so okay anyway guys enough from me um, just please let me know what you would do in the comments below because I'm a little lost right now so <laughs> all right I'll talk to you later guys